Hammurabi is a text-based strategy video game of land and resource management first developed by Doug Diamond in 1968. It was developed by Diamond at Digital Equipment Corporation as the Sumer game as a computer game for fellow employee Richard Merrill's newly invented focal programming language. The game consists of ten rounds wherein the player, as the ancient Babylonian king Hammurabi, manages how much of their grain to spend on crops for the next round, feeding their people, and purchasing additional land, while dealing with random variations in crop yields and plagues. The Sumer game was possibly inspired by the 1966 The Sumerian Game, a much more in-depth text-based economic simulation intended for children. Multiple versions of the game were created for the Focal and Focal 69 languages, but in 1973 David H. All released Basic Computer Games, a book of games written in the basic programming language and the first million-selling computer book, which included his version of the Sumer game. This expanded version of the game, titled Hammurabi, quickly became the more prominent version due to the popularity of both the book and the programming language. Hammurabi influenced many later strategy and simulation games and is also an antecedent to the city building genre. Gameplay Hammurabi is a text-based strategy video game centered on resource management in which the player, identified in the text as the ancient Babylonian king Hammurabi, enters numbers in response to questions posed by the game. The resources that the player must manage are people, acres of land, and bushels of grain. These are managed over the course of ten rounds, each of which represents a year. Each person can farm a set amount of land, which produces grain. Grain, in turn, can be used to feed people, who otherwise die the following round, or planted for the following year's crop. The player may also buy or sell land to their neighbors each turn in exchange for grain. Each round begins with an advisor stating, Hammurabi, I beg to report to you. The current status of the city, including the prior year's harvest and change in population, followed by a series of questions as to how many bushels of grain to spend on land, seeds, and feeding the people. The game's variations are driven by random numbers. The price of land is randomly decided each round from between 17 and 26 bushels per acre. The amount of bushels generated each round is randomly decided. Random amounts of bushels are eaten by rats, and new people come to the city each year in random amounts. Each year also presents the possibility of a plague reducing the population by half. The game ends after 10 rounds, or earlier if the entire population of the city dies or at least 45% of the people starve in a single round. The end game appraisal, added in the 1973 version of the game, compares the player to historical rulers. Such as, your heavy-handed performance smacks of Nero and Ivan IV. Topic. Development In 1968, Digital Equipment Corporation employee Richard Merrill invented the focal programming language. As an early program for the language, fellow employee Doug Diamond developed the Sumer game, programming it for a DEC PDP-8 minicomputer. The game is sometimes erroneously attributed to Merrill in 1969, but a 1973 program catalog by the Digital Equipment Computer Users Society lists Diamond as the original developer. The game was originally described as, This is a simulation program, game which will run on a minimal PDP-8 system. The economy of a Sumerian city in the year 3000 BC is simulated in the fashion of a modern-day business game business games were text-based business management simulation games such as the management game which was used in business schools such as at Carnegie Mellon University since at least 1958 by 1961 there were over 89 different business and economic simulation games in use with various graphical capabilities in 1966 IBM employee William McKay developed a business simulation called the Sumerian Game for the Board of Cooperative Educational Services in northern Westchester County New York It is not known whether the Sumer Game was inspired by the prior Sumerian Game which was a much more in-depth text-based economic simulation intended for children developed in consultation with ancient Middle East history experts multiple versions of the Sumer Game were created Jerry Purnell recalled in 1989 that Half the people I know wrote a Hammurabi program back in the 1970s, for many, it was the first program they'd ever written in their lives. 
The 1973 Decus catalogue additionally lists a French-language version by Belgians J. F. Champarno and F. H. Bostom for the Focal 69 version of the language, and a 1978 catalogue adds Rubin by James R. B. Howard II and Jimmy B. Fletcher, a modification of the King of Samaria game, with additional features. The French version of the game, however, despite being listed as Sumer French, described itself not as a translation of the original game, but as a translation of Hammurabi, the Sumer game, due to another version of the game which was already released by then. Around 1971, DEC employee David H. All had written a version of the Sumer game in the basic programming language. Unlike Focal, BASIC was run not just on mainframe computers and minicomputers, but also on personal computers, then termed microcomputers, making it a much more popular language. In 1973, All published BASIC Computer Games, a best-selling book of games written in BASIC, which included his version of the Sumer game. The expanded version was renamed Hammurabi and added an end-of-game performance appraisal. The popularity of both the book and the programming language itself meant that AHL's version of the game became the more widely known version over the relatively obscure original, as evidenced by the 1973 French focal version considering Hammurabi to be the more prominent name. Basic Computer Games noted that the game was a modification of a game written in focal at DEC, but listed the author as unknown. The 1978 edition of the book, which was the first million-selling computer book, noted that the game's name was intended to be Hammurabi, the correct spelling of the Babylonian king, but not only was one M dropped in the file name to fit in an eight-character limit, but all consistently misspelled the name inside of the game, leading to the generally accepted name of the game to be Hammurabi. Legacy. In addition to the multiple versions of Hammurabi, several simulation games have been created as expansions of the core game. These include Kingdom 1974 by Lee Schneider and Todd Voros, which was then expanded to Dukedom 1976. Other derivations include King 1978 by James A. Storer, and Santa Paravia and Fumaccio 1978 by George Blank. Santa Paravia added the concept of city-building management to the basic structure of Hammurabi, making it an antecedent to the city-building genre as well as an early strategy game. Hammurabi inspired more complicated economic simulation games, MULE. 1983 and Anacreon 1987 are two games that critics mentioned as being similar to Hammurabi. <laughs> 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 Topic: Early 